to show you how to build a flood and drain or ebb and flow hydroponic system. This is an inexpensive system that you can buy most of your stuff from Home Depot or Lowe's and, uh, and a hydroponic store to get a couple of the more specialty items or you can order them on eBay. Let's start with the parts list. You need one 27 gallon black and yellow tote. Uh, you can get this at Lowe's or Home Depot. Then you need a large concrete mixing tray. You can also buy this at Lowe's or Home Depot or even Osh is where I picked mine up. You need uh, six one gallon pots. These are just standard nursery pots that, that you can pick up anywhere. Maybe you have some plants around that you haven't uh, thrown away the pots from. Then you need six five inch net pots. Uh, I use these in the bottom of the pots as you'll see later to keep the hydrotin from coming out. Then you need two feet of tubing. You need to get a flood and drain uh, uh, flood, uh, kit. And you can see here, here's the, the three quarter inch one. Uh, one Dura pump. Uh, I got the uh, 386 gallon one or 396 gallon one. Um, you want to get a little bit of power on this. Uh, want to make sure it has some adjustments. And then a whole bunch of hydrotin to fill the pots up. Start off by just dropping some of these net pots into the bottom of these one gallon nursery pots here. As I said before, this is just to help keep the uh, hydrotin in place here. Some of it will come out the bottoms, but this kind of just helps things out a little bit. You can find some type of screening uh, to put in there instead to keep it from coming out the bottoms of the holes. Your pump actually came with a, a few fittings. Uh, we're going to want to take the uh, three quarter inch fitting here and screw that onto the top of the pump. Uh, there's a small O-ring here on it. And we'll just screw that down until uh, it's... Uh, nice and tight up against the o-ring and the pump is ready and can be put in the bottom of the main tub here's our flood and drain uh, fittings pulled out of the, the packaging and you'll notice something right off the bat here that uh, it was a three quarter inch uh, flood and drain kit and you'll notice that the flood is three quarter inch the overflow uh, is actually one inch. This allows the water to drain out a lot easier and it just has respect to do with the connections here. Uh, the, the tubing on the top here, these risers, they're both the same diameter um, and what we'll end up doing here is we'll pull off uh, the blue cap off here and we'll pull off this riser out of the three quarter inch fitting and we'll just put the blue fitting here right down into the the, the item because we want all the water to drain out the bottom of the tray when we're done. You can see here, here's where I took the riser out of the, the filling uh, fitting here. And we're only going to use two of the risers in our current setup for uh, the overflow drain. Just for reference here, the uh, flood and drain fittings actually taken apart and showing you all the different pieces and a couple of rubber seals here and, and such. And we'll show you how this whole thing's going to go together here. And now the question that you're all asking is, what tools do I need to construct this project? Well, all you need is some type of cordless or corded drill and a one and a quarter inch hole saw. Nothing more. We're going to drill a total of four holes. And we're going to even drill them two at a time. Real quick, real easy. Start out by turning your concrete mixing tray upside down. Go ahead and let's grab the uh, lid from the tote. We're going to place it down uh, face up as, as it goes on the tote on top of the, uh, the mixing tray. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get it nicely centered on it um, so that your tray will sit perfectly uh, flat on it. There's not a lot of room right here on the edges. So you want to make sure that each side is going to sit on these little uh, nubs here that are on the lid. If not, one side is going to drop in and you're going to have to find some type of support to put up underneath here. 
what we're going to do is we're going to drill our holes actually here and here and what we're going to do is we're going to drill through the lid and through the mixing tray at the same time for each hole so let me go ahead and get things set up let me get the holes drilled and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done I'm in the middle of the drilling process and the reason why we uh, centered the, the lid over the mixing tray as you can see here here's where I came through and already finished up one hole but what happens is when you're drilling the hole through on the lid it creates a pilot hole here for you and that will mark where you need to finish drilling the hole so you can see here we can put that on there and we can finish drilling up the final hole See here, I've got the fittings all pulled out here. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the fittings uh, uh, inserted into into the holes here. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and grab one of the uh, rings here. And you see, we'll flip the fitting over. We'll put a rubber one rubber ring on there first. We'll go ahead and take another rubber ring and place it on this fitting here. And let me go ahead and finish getting it assembled up, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here, showing the fittings installed. You can see here's the fill fitting, uh, and then here's our drain fitting, and then here's from the back side here. You can see here that we've got them all bolted in and ready to go. Here, here's the two holes that we drilled through the lid. That'll match up with the uh, concrete uh, mixing tray. And I got a little ahead of myself. We actually need to put one more hole in the lid here. And we're going to put the hole here right into the corner. And I'll go ahead and get that drilled when I'm done with the filming here. And what this is, is this is for the uh, power cord to come through for the water pump. So let me go ahead and get that drilled here. And uh, we'll show some of the final assembly. We have our pump. Uh, we've got our fitting that we put in earlier onto it. We'll go ahead and we're going to take our three quarter inch tubing and go ahead and press it down onto that fitting. It's on there pretty snug. Um, the flow adjustment on this pump is uh, down here on the end. And we'll adjust that once the system is operating. Um, we'll go ahead and here take the pump off. Uh, we'll set it down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let me work to the assembly. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the pump in the bottom of the tote, uh, we're going to run the hose out the far hole over here and then we're going to connect it over here to our fill fitting here and then set everything back down. You can take this tubing that's two feet long and you can you can trim it up and get it to the size that you want. I like to have it a little long for servicing and, and once I get to working with the system then I'll go ahead and trim it up to a better leg. Right here I can show you right here, here's why I have the tubing connected to the fill fitting. And you see it's going into the lid here. We're going to go ahead and lay the lid down and poke the drain overflow fitting into the other hole. You can see right here, here's where I've got the power cord coming out of the corner here. And we'll uh, show you the final assembly of what it looks like with the hydrant in the pots. And uh, you're pretty much done with it at this point. The final assembled unit. All the hydrotin is in the pots and they're all set up evenly spaced throughout the, uh, the, fill, the flood tray here.